Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Limitless Lauren. Today I'm going to be showing you how to braid. Now this video is targeted for beginners because I'm going to be starting from the beginning, starting from the very basics and moving step by step. So when you are finished watching this, you feel like you will have mastered the braid and you will be able to try more intricate braids because for a lot of people I know braiding is intimidating and it's difficult because you're dealing with all different kinds of hair strands and if you're doing it on yourself it's also another challenge so I'm going to be breaking this video down into three sections first section is how to do a regular three strand braid I feel like you need to learn how to get down the regular braid before moving on to more intricate braids. Next, we're gonna be moving into the second section, which is how to do a French braid. And I'm gonna be doing two different types of French braids, and I'm gonna be comparing them on both sides of my head just so you can really see the difference. And the third section is I'm gonna be showing you all different types of updos that you can achieve with the French braid. The French braid is my go-to braid. That's the one I do all the time. If you have been following along with my channel, I usually have both sides of my head in French braids. Now moving on to the hair tools I'm gonna to be using. You can literally get these at Dollar Tree, Walmart, super cheap. So let's take a look. So here they are, it's not very many. The first one, we'll talk about the comb. I've always used a wide tooth comb. So I got this from Walmart for a couple bucks. You can use any brush you have. It really doesn't matter. Just something to brush out the tangles before you start braiding. Next up is a clip. You can also use a hair tie or you don't even have to use anything, but this is if you're doing different sections and want to keep your hair out of the way. I love crop clip. These are my favorite clips just because they grip the hair so good and my hair is so fine and thin that if I'm using a clip that doesn't have these, it just slides right out. Next thing, bobby pins. And they come in different colors, different kinds, different sizes. So I'll be using a couple of those. And the last one that you can't really see is clear elastics. And the ones I have are actually not very good. I don't even remember where I got them, but just whatever clear elastics and if you have really thick hair, these might not be enough, but I know they have different sizes of these as well, depending on your hair thickness. And those are all the tools that I'm gonna be using. Let's get started with how to do a regular three strand braid. I'm just gonna split my hair in half, clip one section off. Feel free to do this along with me because some of the braiding videos I've watched for more intricate braids, I'll watch it the whole way through and then I'll go try to do it later and forget the steps. I'm the type of person that needs to watch it while I'm doing it, pause it, watch it again on repeat until I finally get it down. So you're gonna take your section of hair and you're gonna divide it into three equal sections or as equal as you can get. So there's a couple ways to make it into three equal sections. You can take your two fingers, poke it in there and that'll make three somewhat evil, equal, not evil, equal sections. Or you can just kind of feel it out and make the sections like that. Now the technique of how to hold your hair, this is what I feel overwhelms people because when you're trying to wrap it over each hair, sometimes the hair can get lost or fall out. This just takes some practice and you have to tr do it multiple times to just get the technique down. So how I hold my hair is I'll hold one section in one hand, one section in the other, and then I'll hold the, my middle section with my pointer and my thumb. And that is how I transfer the middle section over. So you can either put your strands over the middle or you can put your strands under the middle. It's just a preference. Some way is easier maybe to some people than others. Just try both and see which one you like better. So I'm gonna take my strand over the middle. So here's my middle, here's my outer section. I'm going to take it over the middle, grab it with my pinky to hold it in place, pull the other section out. Okay, so there's my middle now. I'm gonna take my inside section, put it over the middle, okay? 
pull that section over. And then we just do it again. Outer section over the middle, grab it with my pinky, pull it to the side, inner section over the middle. I'll grab this one with my middle finger. It really just doesn't matter. Just as long as you're getting the hair out of the way, keeping it separated, pulling it over, over the middle, over the middle. And you're just gonna repeat that all the way down. And you can stop the braid wherever you want. It really doesn't matter. But then at this point, you would tie it off with the elastic and there you have it. Now, I'm actually gonna tie it off with the elastic just so I can show you a little tip. If you want to look like you have a thicker braid, thicker hair, each little hump that you see, you're gonna take each of those little ones and pull hair out. So let's start at this top one right here. So you're gonna take a little bit. I hold my hair at the bottom and I'll pull up. Pull up just a little bit to get some of that hair out of there. So I'll just stay on this side, working my way down, pulling it out. Okay, now we'll go to the other side. And you pretty much just do this until you have it as thick looking as you want. But be careful not to pull too hard, <laughs> especially near the bottom, I've made that mistake. And then your hair just comes out of the hair tie. Uh, so then you can tighten it up and look how much thicker that braid looks. So that is how you do the three strand braid and how to make it look thicker and fuller. So I'll just keep that one in as we move on to the French braid brush it out a little bit. We're gonna be starting at the top of our hair, working our way down. You can either have it more focused near the front of your face, or you can focus it more going towards the back. And this is gonna depend on how much hair you're taking from each section. So if you want it focused more on the front of your face, grab more from the top moving down and less from the front and the opposite for if you want it on the back. You're gonna grab more towards the back and less back here. So I am going to show near the front of your face. So I'm gonna be grabbing more from the back and then I'll show it the opposite way on this side. So we're gonna start off by taking a little section of hair and you want this section to be relatively small but not too small to where you can't get three good sections of hair. So you're gonna take, this is about the size that I'll take. And you can take your two fingers, split it into three sections, just like that. So we're not gonna be adding any hair for the first couple of passes. It's just gonna be like a regular braid. And this time I'm gonna go under, cause there's two different ways that you can braid your hair. Either the outers are going over the middle or the outer sections of the hair are going under the middle. Uh, it's just how it lays on your hair is basically the difference. Okay, so I'm gonna take the front section under the middle, outer section under the middle. Okay, now we're gonna start adding hair. So I'm now at the front section again. So I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna grab underneath my braid that I've started, take a little section, just a little bit, Remember, we're gonna focus it near the front of our face. Combine it with that section, put it under the middle. The back section, you're gonna take your thumb, draw a line down to grab a section of hair and pull it over. Combine it with that strand, pull it under. Starting at the front again, under the braid. So we're grabbing a little bit underneath, combining it, pulling it under. Again, taking your thumb, doing a line down, combining it, 
with that section, pulling it underneath. And see how it's right near my face and how there's no braid, it's not going backwards, it's just staying right here. because so I'm holding it near my face. And the tighter you want your braid, you need to be touching your scalp and your face to keep it tight against your head. If you're holding it way out here, it's gonna be loose and bubbly and it's not gonna look as clean, which it's kind of hard to do, especially on yourself, to keep it holding it against your scalp, making sure it's really tight. It just, again, takes practice. And you're just continuing that motion of going under the whole way down, just grabbing little bits of hair each time. Pulling it tight. Okay, so I'm on my last little section of hair. Let me make sure I got all of it, yep. So I'm gonna take that section and really hold it near my scalp. And I'm gonna put it underneath, still touching my scalp, keeping it as close as possible. And now this is where you're gonna do just the regular three strand braid all the way down. Keeping it tight. Under, under, under not having to add any more hair. So there is style number one, sitting close to your face. Now we are going to move on to the second style of French braid, which is going over the middle, just like we did this one. So we'll take this one out, brush it out, and this is literally gonna be the same exact way you're just putting your hair under. That is the only difference. All right, starting off, taking that small section up front, slicing it into three. Now starting from the front section. Now this is the section that I'm gonna add a lot of hair. So I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm going to move it towards the back of my head. Combine it with that piece, pulling it over the middle. I almost forgot which way I was going there for a second. Okay, once you got that, you're gonna take your other section. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit of hair right next to it, combine it, get it all smoothed out, and I'm gonna pull it over the middle. Grabbing on the front, Combining it with that strand, pull over the top. So for this last section of hair, keeping it as close to my scalp as possible, pulling it in tight, wrapping it around, touching my other hand, keeping it against my scalp. Pulling it tight, keeping my hand to my scalp, pulling the other one. Just continuing it all the way down like a regular braid. And sometimes if you can't see the back of your head, I'll pull it around up front to finish it. And here is the second style of French braid. And the reason why I said when you're near the nape of your neck to get it as tight as possible is to prevent the big bubbling that you can see if you don't get it close enough to your scalp. That's why you want to hold at least one hand against your neck or your scalp at all times and really pull it under, pull it tight because that bubbling, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I actually had to look up how to prevent that on YouTube. I watched a lady and that's what she said. So I started doing it and that is how to prevent it. So one of the looks has the braid sitting more on top of the hair and the other one blends more down into the hair. Now let's talk about the different styles you can do. Now this is a style that I like to do. Now one of the styles you can do is called a milkmaid braid. And so you would do both sides of your head, like this one, with it near the front of your face. And you would pull the braid back towards your head 
and what I like to do is I'll kind of bend the end of it and I'll bobby pin it in until you kind of get this little milkmaid braid thing going on. All right, we're gonna move on to a different style that you can do with the French braid is doing it down the middle of your whole head, just one French braid. So you're gonna start by taking a section up front, splitting it into three. So before adding any hair, I'm gonna take my hair and put it under the middle, grabbing the outer section, pulling it underneath. Just a couple times without adding hair, just like the other braids. So I'm gonna move my hair over here so you can see. Now I'm gonna start adding hair. So I'm gonna take my free hand, I'm gonna take my thumb, and I'm going to slide it up toward my middle part. You can see my thumb poke through. I'm gonna take that section, combine it with that strand, pull it under the middle. And again with this section. Take my free hand, go toward my hair middle part, combine it with that section. And under the middle it goes. And that's it. Now it takes some practice. So <laughs> if you can't see the back of your head, which I can't see the back of my head, I'm just kind of feeling it out because I've done it so many times. But if you have a mirror in front of you and one behind you so you can see what you're doing, that is very helpful. That was a huge help for me when I learned how to do a French braid. Now one of the styles you can do is leave it halfway up, halfway down, and you could just tie it off right here. But I'm just gonna keep finishing it so you can see the whole way down. And again, try to keep your hands touching your scalp. I know it's difficult, at least it is for me, because <laughs> my arms are starting to get tired. You can pull some pieces of hair down just to frame your face a little bit. And that's it for the full one. Now I'm gonna show one last one take out all my hard work. Oh. Now another tip I want to add before I start braiding. When I do the side braids and I leave it in overnight and then take it out to get that crimp look, I don't do it straight down the back. I zigzag the line so when I take it out it blends all together in the back because if I just do it a straight line all the way down it will come out like that and you can see the crack down the middle. Gonna take your finger and I start up near the crown of my head and I will take it on one side touching my scalp and I will drag it drag it drag it all the way down holding my finger there you can feel where the split is and I will pull that hair to the side and it just makes a subtle little zigzag in the back. So pin that other side away. Now this look is a French braid up into little space buns. I love this look. You're basically gonna French braid your hair and you would French braid it like you're trying to stay near the middle. So keeping your hands back, and but you're just gonna do it into the crown just halfway and stop there and tie it off. So since we're only going halfway, I'm gonna start with a really small section, like half the size of my other ones. Focusing it toward the back, taking the front section underneath the middle, back section underneath the middle. This is where we're gonna add hair now. So again, taking my thumb, slicing it up, And then I'm just gonna do a couple of times without adding any hair. So this is what we got, okay? Now I'm gonna take my clear elastic and tie it off. Then I'm gonna take the rest of the hair, take my hair tie, tie it off. So you could leave it like that if you wanted, or you could make a little bun. So usually I'll just tease up my hair just a little bit. Wrap it around. Take my bobby pin, secure one side, and secure the other side. 
So let me do the other side and I'll be right back. And there you have it. There is my little space bun French braid look. It took me a while to get the buns to match, but here is what it looks like from the back. So there are some of my favorite French braid updos to do. Hopefully you guys feel like you have learned a little bit more, feel a little bit more comfortable, maybe even have mastered the braid. You really got to practice, practice, practice. It took me a long time of doing it in the mirror. And sometimes still I even mess up and have to restart. Even during this video, <laughs> I was getting frustrated and having to redo it. It just happens, you know? But give some of these looks a try. Let me know in the comments below which ones were your favorites. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. But wait. Before you go, I'll miss you so, so please subscribe to my channel and like this video.